And this land is our but it's going to be Lapu Lapu. This is interesting because we haven't really seen a lot Lapu Lapu from Iran. Clearing. And it is Terizla mid. We're seeing Swaylo back on a very strange pick, but we have seen this before. But Rebellion Enzo with an Edith and a Brody. Both great all in options right here. Slightly ahead here in levels, but not too much to actually make a difference. Where it'll get a level advantage, not just yet. Swaylo. Wow. Penalty zone canceled as Yaoi jumps into a wild charge onto Vincent. Iran swing. His sword finds first blood, and now oh. Kabuki with amazing duets to sway low, looking for some damage. I will be able to get it done. Audi tees, he forced to flick around, and even cars now in a 1v3 gets a two man earth shatter. Go good, very low, but look at that. Aron slices him. Done. Couldn't have gone any worse for rebelling that early game, just losing it all over the place. No. And Yowie, you is their plan. They're looking to capitalize on it on this objective fight. The sway low trying his own. But that's why the Angela finds so much value early on. Cars, oh, Earth Shattered and onward. And also wow. Pelly's onto the back, but Iran also follows through with the Bravest Fighter onto Vincent, who's still clawing at him. Kabuki here. It's a 5v5, but look at the damage coming through from Aura. They've about to sustain Rebellion. And Cars kiting back sway low in the midst of it all, getting Yaoi down. So Rome traded in for a jump. to back off, and Rebellion is forced to respond. Well, if you look at it, it's Technically, Sway Low can provide good ganks, but he's saving the ultimate for bigger moments, like the big neutral objective fight. But this seems like the adjustment from Rebellion. They want to use it early on here before anything happens. We're going to go for a siege. There's a wild charge onto the back of Buki as well without the hard guard. Just dives in through from Y. The blue more oh. used up for the battle. Oh. The image will be used up. Advantage for Aura. That's a pick off and a purify out of the penalty zone. That forces Sway Low to be all alone. He's isolated completely. Flickers out late around the flicker and the stun. Yehezkiel picks up the kill and Kabuki Whoa. is the one chasing down Onitizi. Goes back to the battle mirror image like it's nothing. It's a basic attack again and again throughout the whole engagement. And you give him enough time without any threat to please zone him away. Whoa, look at this pickoff. A knock-up, a taunt into a wild charge as well. And Gugun just holding the back down. All alone. Has the help of the hard guard as well to get out of the onward and the penalty zone onto him. Sway low. Gets burst it down before anyone can do anything about it. But Iran will fall as well. Now Vincent looking for the exit. Cuba Kabuki jumps into the battle mirror image. To try to fend oh. off from this damage, and they are successful at doing so. It's a two for one for Rebellion. They want to try to push the advantage now. A Thunder Belt built up by Vincent, and they're on the Lord. They are not playing, man. That's why they didn't post earlier. They want to get this win as convincingly as possible. And now with Gugan gone, they want to take this one. Retri on cooldown. Dangerous spot for Rebellion. Kabuki's on it, but there you go. Vincent waits for the timer, and now Yaoi gets punished. Moai picks up the kill. His third one in this game, and Kabuki. Oh. As you were talking to Orashi, Vincent finished off the endless battle. Oh, penalty zone into the bush. They read it out. Iran gets caught, and now will just be bursted down by Moai, who's on a killing spree. Isolated by the barrier. Car still in the midst of it all. That's an appraiser's trap, but Swaylo is able to flicker out of it just in time. Cars, no immobility. Oh. He just runs at him, pops the BMI oh. back. Well, this is more of a mid-game power spike for Rebellion, so they're trying to use it as much as possible. Seems like there's going to be a fight breaking out, though. Sway low, going uh -huh. aggressive. The zone dodged away from the Lord, reset it. And Gugu oh. wants to go for a fight, dashes forward, taunts cars. But Sway low doesn't have that initiation tool, not anymore. He has to wait for that cooldown to be back on. Oh! Charge! Yowie strikes! And that's the follow-up from the back as well. Kabuki dealing some damage. Way low, isolated. Only trading the Roamer as Cars is going to be all alone. Pops in Primal Wrath on Kabuki. Jumps into the Blazing Duet and the Brazers. Wrath gets rid of Hawaii. In the back, Audi forced the flicker all the way. But now it's Vincent who's chasing him down. The light could pounce. Chasing Kabuki. He does two damage. Oh! Stunned up by Audi TZ. And Vincent in the light can form. Is a threat that you cannot ignore. See what I mean? That looks so good from Yaoi. That was the perfect initiation, knocking up two in the air. But it went wrong for Aura. They lose out on the durability battle, and now they secure the Lord. Even Kabuki right now, he's having a perfect game. 5 0 3 hasn't picked up my rebellion just yet, but it looks like he's completely lost. It's hard to engage at this point. Bro. And on top of that, the siege potential of a Brody. They have a very, very complete composition for now, Rebellion. 2.7k goals. Going up to three! Oh! Five man! Oh no, it's Whoa. just a four man penalty zone, but Sway Low, that oh, could have been a bit too far ahead, man. He isolated himself. Now Sway Low, free to be picked up on a run. He jumps in 
all alone as well. That's a trade one for one. But Vincent's looking for the last hit onto Gugun. The XP traded in for the mid lane and Revelion still have ways to deal with this turret. The sway low dive. At this point, we've seen the mana advantage. We've seen a lot of mistakes. I mean, oh! Meanwhile, though, another wild charge as Kabuki tries to deal with sway low, but the healing is too much. Vincent now diving deep. Hard guard force in. Vincent running back. I think he was a part of oh. one! But the three man stunned in the back of the Bravest Fighter, but now gets taunted again. And the sustain is just ridiculous for Rebellion. They go all in, but it's still a fair trade. It's really Aura has two solutions. Play the macro game, which they're trying to do right now with yes yeah, skill on the Angela, or play a defensive game. They have a DPS advantage when it comes to Claude versus Brody. So if they can just use the, all their spells defensively instead, they can maybe have something. But look at Yaoi. Very, very low. Wild charge, stunning Vincent and cars over to the back. Battle mirror image. Plays up by Kabuki for a second. Oh my goodness! Pouncing now again on the Lycan form. That's your head skill in the back. Solo taken out by Moai and Audi Teezy. Four for O, only Aran, the last dragon, left to defend against four bulls charging down. Aran, for the Bravest Fighter, instantly deleted on the unofficial maniac as the blue bulls charge through the base. Seven force or just side lane pressure. Uh, That's a lockdown on the Famous. And the XP lane is more of a skill matchup this time. I've been going for QC instead of the usual Brave Smite nowadays. Aura though. Uh -oh. Look at the pressure. Gugun going the long way around the cars. It's like a petrify and now like and pounce. One more hit should do it with a retribution. Vincent secures first blood and Aran is forced to use the vengeance. Swaylo can zone them. Aran doesn't have vengeance. Now the black dragon from with the hard card as well. They're forced out. Arano locked out by the penalty zone and it's just sliced by cars. Spinning that dragon tail and getting another kill on the board. Already everyone, how do we really play a game when you know that your opponents are a good team that can play textbook? Wise, but Yaoi goes for the play. Divine Judgment there, but Moai just flickers out, and now, oh, good cancel from Audi Tz. He gets a healing dot, Moai! Oh. Amazing plays, now the lockdown as well. Gugun cannot run away. Sway low with the last swing of his hammer. Counter. For sure. A territory that they're not familiar with. Meanwhile, Gugun. I don't know about this, Aran gonna be popping into vengeance, but Kogun is gonna lose his life in the back just by the Black Dragon form. The two oh fighters in the back and Swaylo just flickers out Vincent as well. Did he take the orange buff away? He did! Aura! This gets out. They're gonna go for the trade, but I don't even know if they're gonna be able to get it. Oh. Black Dragon is online, just diving in the back now, has a Petrify as well, he's chilling, he doesn't even use it! Cars with a Dragon Tail, bottom lane is a turret, Gugun! Taken out again though, he gets out, just barely. Matter of time. And even if they're trying to clear the waves right here, with Moai having so much range to play around with, they might just get bursted down. Black Dragon forms in the back to try to zone him. Yaoi already concealed, looking for Moai as well. Swaylo taking a lot of turrets. Turret shots there, but has the immortality. Yaoi, oh! oh penalty zone to stop him and distracts Moai. Just deals three damage to the back. Vincent, like his pounce. Even Kabuki with a hard guard can't really do much. Oh. He flickers forward, he gets a double kill, but then gets shredded down. Vincent again. It's a triple kill, looking for one last shot onto Orad, who's able to dash towards his base. But now that's one base to redact. Look at the mid lane. It's another falling, crumbling. And now it's Audi flickering forward to Aran. Vincent doesn't care. He'll take that damage. And he'll just go straight for the base to get a clean sweep up against number three in the standings. The Dragons have been charged down by the Blue Bulls. Against all odds. Against what's happening outside of the game for Rebellion. They bounce back quite convincingly at that. 2-0 against the Dragons.